Hey all you amazing chefs out there. We have a great show for you today here in New York. Uh, we're gonna be doing a, some of my cousin's favorites. Uh, we left steaks and chops today. My cousin Ray, I'd love to uh, dedicate this show to. Uh, so today we're gonna be making a, a pan roasted veal chop with a little bit of uh, Marcella wine sauce. We have a little bit of uh, cremini mushrooms that we're gonna be sauteing in with that. And then we're also gonna be making a little bit of a sort of beef bourguignon style dish. That's got a little crushed potatoes, and then we have some really cool asparagus, some white, purple, and green asparagus, and some baby carrots. Uh, we have our uh, port wine and Cabernet mix that I already concocted together, and then we also have our uh, Marsala wine that's gonna be going with our uh, veal chop right here. So the first thing that we're gonna be starting on uh, is the two side dishes. Uh, we're gonna start on our oven roasted potatoes. And these guys, really simple dish. We're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil to them, and we're just gonna go ahead and season these guys really nice. Add a little bit of olive oil to it. And then we're gonna bake these guys in the oven for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. If you have convection, I really like using convection. Helps kind of speed up the process. And it makes all of the outsides really nice and crispy. So we're gonna take these guys, throw them in the oven here. And then the next thing that we're gonna be working on is our, uh, we have a risotto that we're gonna finish on with a little fresh Parmesan cheese. Uh, the next thing we're gonna work on, now that we have our potatoes in the oven, we're gonna start working on our risotto. So what I like to do first is add a little bit of uh, onion to our pot. This way we can saute them up. I don't really like to use a lot of olive oil for all of my cooking, but because we're making risotto today, I wanted to add a little bit of butter. I think that's gonna give it a little bit more flavor. Okay, so we have our onions in our pot and we're gonna go, go ahead and uh, continue to saute them up a little bit, get a little bit of color in them. And then when we have our onions, we got a nice little color to them, not too much. We've got this guy on kind of like medium low heat. We're gonna add our risotto in there. We've got about a cup in there. So with this dish, I, I really don't normally measure it out. This is kind of one of those touchy feeling things where we just kind of add a little bit of water to it as we go. You can use chicken stock. I'm actually gonna use a combination of the chicken stock as well as the water just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor to it. So when our first, uh, as we get our risotto toasted, we're gonna add a little bit of water to it. You'll hear it kind of bubble up. I just add a little bit in there at first. And so normally with rice, you're not supposed to stir it because you don't want to release the starch. You don't want it to be sort of mushy. Uh, get, get it a little bit of creamy. We're gonna add a little bit more water to it. But with risotto, that's actually what it is that you want to do. So you want to kind of stir it around every so often, help release the starch. It's a short grain rice, so it will be a little sticky. I'm gonna add a little bit of my beef stock in there as well. And we're gonna be using that for our next dish as well. So this way we can add some more flavor to it and get it nice and awesome. All right, so we let it boil for about one or two minutes, started to come up, get a nice little bubble to it, and we're gonna add a little bit more water into it. So every so often we're gonna come back and we're gonna stir it and make sure that it uh, doesn't burn. We wanna keep it uh, moving so that way we keep continuing to let the starch release. And then after that, if we need to add a little bit more water to it, we'll go ahead and add a little bit more water, or if it looks like it's fine, we'll just let it, let it go and then we'll add the Parmesan to it. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna season our beef and our veal, so this way we can start our bourguignon, as well as our veal chop marcella. You might see chicken marcella. I like to use veal. Makes it a little fancy. So the other thing with this. So normally if we're doing one of our wine dinners, we like to French the bone, so we'll cut sort of like right down here and then we'll pull all of this off, so this way you see the bone. Gives it a really nice presentation. But for what it is that we're doing here, since you're gonna be cooking at home, you can leave all the meat on the bone, have a little little go at it, be nice and nice and awesome. So then we're gonna season both sides here. And then we have a little bit more salt on these guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and slice our mushrooms so this way when we take it over to the stove over there, we're ready to go. I like using mini mushrooms a little bit more than just regular domestic button mushrooms. I think they have a little bit more flavor. If you like portobellos or you have portobellos, you can use portobellos as well. Those guys are really nice. All right, so 
I'm gonna get these guys together on this plate so this way we can transfer them over to the stove when we're ready to go. And we're gonna bring our celery, onions, and carrots. So the mushrooms are gonna go with our veal chop as well as our marsala wine. And then the celery, onions, and carrots are gonna go with our beef bourguignon over here. And so if you'd like to join me over on the other side, we'll go ahead and start cooking this stuff up. So we have our risotto here. It's been going for a few minutes now, and it looks like we're right about there. I just wanna add just another little touch of water, just a little bit. So it's looking nice and creamy. You don't have to add heavy cream. Some, pe some chefs that are, that are cheating, they add heavy cream. I don't do that. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna stir it around a little bit more and let it go for about two, two more minutes. And then once we go for about two more minutes, then we're just gonna shut it off and just like let it ride the rest of the way out. So, and it's looking good. So we'll have that ready to go. So the next thing that we're gonna start working on is our, uh, the beef bourguignon and the veal chop. We're gonna go ahead and start sauteing these guys, get a nice uh, color to them. We're gonna first add a little bit of olive oil. They say you can't saute with olive oil, but if you do it right, you can. All right. So on our very first episode, we told you you gotta look, listen, make sure that you're kind of timing everything out. You wanna make sure you hear that nice, nice sizzle. We're gonna go ahead and turn this guy up just to make sure that we maintain that sizzle. The sizzle is gonna let you know that you're gonna get some really nice caramelization. Don't shake the pan, don't move it all around, just like let it do its thing. And then we're gonna like feel for that one. Turn this guy up a little bit. We're gonna turn our risotto off. We're just gonna leave it over on our cutting board here for a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we get a little bit of oil all the way around on our pan. If it doesn't have enough heat, you're not gonna get that sear you want. Notice that when we put it in the pan, you don't hear that sizzle. You don't see it bubbling, so we're gonna let it just heat up just for about another minute or so. We're gonna take a look at our beef here. We're just gonna move one little piece. This way we can see if we have a little bit of color. We're starting to get some really nice color to it right on the edge, but as I mentioned before, you just wanna like let that sit there, let it go for about another minute or two before you start shaking it or moving it all around. And then we're gonna check our pan over here again. Same thing for here. We're gonna let that go for about another minute or so. So our beef has been sizzling. It's been sauteing, getting a little bit of color. I feel like our pan has uh, some more heat to it. Oh yeah, now you can hear it. Don't saute the lettuce. You don't want the lettuce in there. All right, so we have our veal chop. and let that sear up real nice. And then with our beef, we're gonna, again, we're just gonna check one of them. Want to see if we got some nice color to it. And that right there is what you're looking for. So it's got some nice color to it. So now we're going to add our celery, onions, and the carrots to our dish here. And we have a little bit of a red wine for cab. Want to make sure that it tastes good. I like it, it'll work. All right, so then now we're gonna add these guys. We're gonna saute these up just a little bit, give it a quick toss, make sure you keep it in the pan. All right. All right, we're gonna add all that red wine in there. The more red wine, the better. And we're just gonna let that cook down for about I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 minutes or so. We're using beef tenderloin, so no matter what, it's gonna be tender, it's gonna be great. You just wanna make sure that you add enough salt, enough pepper. And what I have also over here is a little bit of uh, rosemary and thyme that we added. We added a little bit of olive oil to it and we pureed it up with a little bit of parsley, just so that way it's a little bit easier for us to use when we're in the kitchen. So we'll let these guys go. And so the important part with this, right now we wanna make sure that all of the wine comes to a boil. We wanna almost like maybe reduce it down maybe by a third, if not by a half. All right, so that's looking good. And then now we're gonna switch over to our veal chop. 
Oh yeah, it looks great. So as you can see, it's got some really nice color. You didn't see me shaking the pan. You didn't see me moving around. You really want to just like put it in there, hear that sizzle, get that saute, get that nice color going to it, and then just let it sit there, right? So we're looking for, I don't know, uh, most people, if you're doing a party for quite a few people, medium, you can't go wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and let this uh, saute on this side for about maybe another two or three minutes. And then we're gonna add our uh, vegetables and then our mushrooms and our stock and our Marcella wine to it. Okay, so our beef bourguignon, all the uh, red wine is starting to, to come to a boil. It's starting to simmer really nicely and we've reduced it down almost by about a third. So we're just gonna like let that continue to go and we're gonna start working on our veal chop here. So the next thing that I wanna add was gonna be our cremini mushrooms. And then we have a little bit more celery, onions, and carrots, and a little bit, uh, a couple of cherry tomatoes. I like to add cherry tomatoes. So we're gonna let that go. Let all those guys saute up really nicely. And what I'm gonna do right now, because I feel like our veal chop is just about done, we're just gonna let that rest right there. So you see that we got really nice color on this side and a really nice color on that side. Right. Okay. And that looks good. So we're gonna stir these guys around just a little bit. Again, you wanna hear that sizzle. You wanna get that caramelization going and you want to have that nice kind of, all those aromatics kind of like start to blend together. And we're gonna go ahead and let that go for about another one or two minutes. And so back to the beef bourguignon. It's starting to reduce down right where we want it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of our beef stock And we're gonna pour that in there. And we're gonna just let all that happen. We're gonna bring it back to a boil, let it simmer for a little bit. I have a little bit more beef stock that we're gonna use for our uh, veal marsala here. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of kosher salt. A little crushed back black pepper. Give it another little toss. If you're not comfortable with the toss, just kind of stir it around a little bit. Now here comes the fun part. A little Marcella wine. We're add a little Marcella wine to it. Awesome. And so like the same sort of technique that we're using with our beef bourguignon, we want to go ahead and let that start to come to a boil. Let it reduce down a little bit. And the next thing that I'm gonna add to this is a little bit of heavy cream. I like to taste it in between just to get a little bit of an idea of what's happening. It's awesome. You can smell it, it smells great. Wish you were here. You can get a little, little whiff yourself. So we have the uh, Marsala wine that we put in there and I'm gonna add a little bit of the heavy cream that we talked about just a few seconds ago. Not too much, just a little touch in there. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and let that kind of come together. And what I like to do is just sort of let it, make sure that uh, it all sort of comes to a boil. It'll start to thicken. The cream is gonna, as it reduces down and it cooks, it's gonna start to thicken. And so what we have here, as you can see right in the center, it's not quite starting to bubble yet. So I'm gonna let it go for about another, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, just until there's a really nice kind of bubble going on, on all around it. Looks like we're ready to go. So. If you'd like to join me back over here, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our risotto. We're gonna add our uh, veal chop and the uh, celery, onions, and carrots along with our Marcella wine mushroom sauce and we're ready to plate. All right, great. So our risotto is nice and creamy. It's uh, got a little bit of flow to it, not too much. We're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. It's gonna help thicken it up, add a little bit more flavor to it. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit just so that way the Parmesan melts. And I would recommend pulling off the fire so that way the Parmesan doesn't start to get stringy. And of course, you know we gotta taste it. Awesome. We're gonna add just a pinch of salt. 
a little pinch of pepper. Taste it one more time. Oh yeah, we're good to go. All right. So we're gonna let that sit there. Go ahead and put my veal chop on top so that way my veal chop stays warm as well as my risotto. We're gonna take the purple, white, and green asparagus that we got and we're gonna drop it just for a couple seconds in a little bit of boiling water. And we're gonna do the same thing with our baby carrots. And I literally let these guys go for maybe about a minute or so. I like them to be al dente, have a little bit of texture to them. I don't want them to get too soft. And then when we're blanching them, it gives them really nice bright color. With the white asparagus, you wanna shave them all the way to the tip, so this way there's not too fibrous. All right, so it's been about another minute or two, and we're gonna go ahead and take our asparagus and pull it out of the water. And in the same water, we're gonna go ahead and drop our baby uh, carrots. We're gonna let those guys go for about another minute or two as well. As you can see, our asparagus looks awesome. Go ahead and get a little bit of olive oil on there. A little bit of crushed black pepper. And a little bit of uh, sea salt. Give those guys a nice little toss. All right. We're ready to plate. We're gonna take our risotto. Let's put it right in the center of the plate. We're gonna go ahead and take, I don't know, maybe about two or three of each asparagus. A few of our purple, a few of the white, and a couple of the green ones. Set those on there really nice. I'm gonna kind of prop them up so that way we got a little bit of a height going to them. Bring our veal chop off to the side right there. And then we're gonna top it off with our, take our Marcella wine sauce. And I just like to kind of pour that over everything. And then we got two garnishes. So the first garnish, we're gonna take a little bit of our rosemary and thyme oil. Just kind of pour it a little bit over. Get it nice and colorful for you. And then I'm gonna come back, grab the baby carrots off of the stove. I like them a little bit more on the crunchy side so I don't leave them in there too long. Add a little bit of olive oil, same thing. A little salt, a little pepper. Give them a quick toss. All right, and there you go. We have our veal chop with our Parmesan risotto. We have white asparagus, purple asparagus, and green asparagus with a little bit of our baby carrots. Please enjoy. All right, so our beef bourguignon has been reducing down. I'm just gonna add about one half teaspoon of cornstarch and about three teaspoons of water just to kind of help it thicken up a little bit. We don't want it too runny. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up really nicely. Kind of creates like a really nice glaze to it. So we're gonna let that kind of just sit here for a second. We're gonna pull our little mini potatoes out, have those guys ready to go. And I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a cut. These guys, we're just gonna give them a little bit of a smash down. We want them to kind of soak up all of that nice liquid that we have from the red wine and the beef stock. And these are our crushed mini potatoes. I set those guys right in the center of our plate. I like to throw one or two of those guys in there, let them sit in there and have them after I'm done. All right, so now that we got our beef ready to go, Set those guys all around it. Get a little bit of the celery, a little bit of the red, red uh, onions in there, and a little bit of the carrots. 
right around that dish. Man, it smells so good. All right, and then we're gonna pour a little bit of the red wine sauce right on top of it. One or two more pieces of the beef on there. A little bit more of the red wine sauce. I like to serve these with a little bit of our crostinis that we have, that we made earlier. Just take these guys, set them off right on the side right there. And, you know, at Amazing Chef Creations, we like to do things fancy. So we're gonna take a little bit of a gold leaf, set it right on top. There you go. That is our beef bourguignon, our veal chop. We have a little bit of our crostinis with uh, mini potatoes topped off with our red wine sauce. Thanks again for joining us today. This was uh, two of our great dishes that we really enjoy making. It's one of my dad's really favorite dishes that he likes. He doesn't drink, but he really likes the uh, Marcella wine sauce. So we have our veal chop, our uh, Parmesan risotto with our three different types of uh, asparagus. We have our white asparagus, green asparagus, and purple asparagus. And then we have our beef bourguignon with the uh, little mini potatoes that are crushed. We served with a little bit of our croutons. And we'd like to uh, let you know that if you have any of these guys left over, uh, we're gonna show you on our next episode what to do with them. Make a few little light bites so that way when your friends are coming over and you're having a little get together, uh, put together a nice little hors d'oeuvre. Also like to thank our friends over at Benny Keith for sponsoring us. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the beautiful product that we uh, get to showcase here today. And uh, don't forget, be amazing.